Okay, guys, what's going on? Looks like it's his final cleaning. This thing's only going to be here. A couple more days. Yay, finally. Finally. It's supposed to be gone by this weekend. Today's Wednesday. But that's not why we're here. We're here giving it a basic wipe down. And I just cleaned the outside of the windows. Um, we have a parade tomorrow. Another parade. Uh, for another hospital. You know, another thank you parade. Um, so we gave the car basic wipage. Um, still like to go through the whole car, but it's not like the car's full of germs. Nobody's been in it for a while. You know what I mean? Uh, but it is due. It's due for its centennial scrubbing. How's that? Make the seats all crisp again. <laughs> but uh, no, the car's doing good. Everything seems to be holding up on it still. This is 20 or 21st summer. Not really sure. None of that is rust, just so you guys know. That's factory or maybe dealer undercoating or uh, rust proofing. Not really sure who did that. You know what I mean? I don't know if the dealer did it or the factory did it. It's up into all there, all there. Here are all the floors. This is the original mat, so I handle it very gently. Okay, obviously those aren't rust holes. Those are pieces of mat stuck to the floor. Uh, like I said, this is a I think we got 43,000 something on it now. I'm not even going to look at the exact miles. Original spare tire. Mint. Wish I had, wish I had four of those. Bridgestone Silvertone 660. Uh, I don't even know what size it is. I'd have to hunt for it in the dark. This is the BF Goodrich. Original wheel. Jack. Jack's under there. Handled under there with it. A couple of hoses there. When I bought the car, I changed the hoses and saved the old ones. So they've been there for 20 years. Uh, you just don't push on them hard and they don't tend to fend. But, this is all original stuff. That's what the original coating looks like from the factory. This is the original paint. That's the original decal. Well, that's my sticker up there. But, this is the original all in here. Original gasket. Um, but I never showed the trunk. At least not in detail. Not that there's much to see. That is the original mat. There is the uh, seatbelt right there. Um, do I care that I cut to the original mat? No. That was to keep Junior safe when he was in the back seat. So he had the, the five-point harness in the back seat. And it went through. And then it went into the smaller Junior Dragster harness. So um, what goes in the trunk? Just these couple of things that I've had in here forever. Okay. That goes without saying. Portable gas can, bought 20 years ago, in case you break down on the side of the road. Okay, I'm assuming this is legal. Uh, yeah, meets DOT specifications, at least it did 20 years ago. Uh, made in the USA. It's for sale. Anybody wants to buy it? Okay, I want to wipe these off before putting them back. If anybody remembers, that's the toolbox Junior made for me for Father's Day. A long, 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 long time ago. Did that in school. And in there, I don't remember exactly what's in here, but I thought there was a fuel pump and some basic tools. Um, yeah, there's the fuel pump. Oh, there's a picture of Junior. Wow. Look at that picture. Look how tiny he is. He's bigger than me now. Okay, that was Myrtle Beach. That was when he was small enough to sit in the two-seater. I mean, look how big I am in there. Um, and I thought no, I can't be the same trip there. Okay, here, if I remember right, he was three years old. I'd have to look closely at the cake. And he, he wanted a sprinkler for his birthday. He got more than that, but still have that sprinkler. Along with seven other ones he collected. But yeah, we still have it. Still used it up until we moved. He has it at the house with him, so he's probably going to use it again. Uh, what's here? Like I said to you guys, what do you need? Basic wiring. The thicker, the better. See this 8 gauge or 10 gauge? I could start the call with that if I had to. It's long enough that I could double and triple it. All you have to do is get it to crank long enough to start. Simple test light. Okay? The car has no electronics in it. You don't need a meter. Okay? Felt screwdriver, regular screwdriver, pair of pliers, fixer flap, brake fluid, spark plugs. You know there's points down in there. Uh, the oil pressure line. Uh, there's some other screwdrivers in there. I see speaker wire down there. I know there's more stuff wedged down in there. Uh, some hose, some wrenches, 
safety glasses, and whatever's required. My biggest fear is always breaking down with the fuel pump. And with that, now that I see this one's rebuildable, I want to get the kit to do it. Why it's so big is one of it's for vacuum wipers, one of it's for fuel. You don't really care about the vacuum wipers. You need the fuel part to get home. And this was off a running car. I took that off, okay, 20 years ago. Um, so we should order up the kit and rebuild that. Uh, my biggest fear with this car is, and I'm about to jinx myself, is the fuel pump taking a crap. It's the original fuel pump from 1968. Bear in mind, I have the car 20 years, and it was original when I got it. And uh, like I said, we only have like 43,000 on this car now. That doesn't mean nothing, especially with today's fuel. Uh, with that said, um, I also have this. Okay. Well, you know what's funny about it? There was water in it. It froze and cracked. And it says guaranteed money back leakage protection. So I wonder if I call them and tell them if the container's leaking, if they'll send me another one. How old do you think this is? Okay, if you're gonna guess 68, I have no idea. And the reason I say that is this wasn't part of the car. This I found up in the attic for my father. My father stopped, stopped driving in maybe 71, 72. So it's older than that. Consumer products, New York, New York, made in, and it's scratched off. You know that's USA has to be but uh, we were fun you need the proof of purchase price so it just tells you don't drink it doesn't tell you anything else so I always found that cool because it's red uh, it's a little beat up now but uh, with that said those are the couple items that are going back in the car so let's turn off the camera burn out AJ I love dad. I don't know what else. Oh, the stuff on the back. Oh, let's see what he wrote on here. Let's see who was in his mind. Uh, smoking. Looks like it says Darian, which would be his, uh, which would be his cousin. Dad is the greatest, and he put a decal over it. Dad's cars are cool. And a nice heart. And I wonder if he has me barbecue and him barbecue. Like back then, it would have been me barbecue. What else we got? Uh, don't know what that says. It says something car. Obviously, that's my station wagon doing a burnout. There's a burnout behind it to the right if you look. Uh, I don't know what's to the left. And it says, something's a driving dad. Don't know. Okay, let's put the question. How long ago did I buy the Corolla? 10 years ago? Right? Here's the headliner. <laughs> From when I bought it. It needed a headliner. You don't need the material. I folded it up, threw it in here. It's so creased, you can never unuse it. Why do I keep it? You never know when you're going to need it to kneel down when you break down. Nice and soft, we'll throw it up back up. Okay guys, till tomorrow, when the sun will be out, uh, that's it. And look forward to seeing this thing at my house, because nobody's going to look forward to it more than me. Whoops, the rain's going in the camera. So, well, there's nothing to damage. The microphone's bad now. The picture button's gone. Uh, there's no viewfinder. The lens is scratched, and it's held together with tape. And the whole thing's covered with primer and paint. What else can go wrong with this camera? Uh, so that's it, guys. We're good. This is clean enough. Um, it is what it is. So we're out of here, guys.